Hey guys, Milk Losing and Games here. Welcome to another episode of our Gates of Hell Gem Editor tutorial series. Uh, in this episode, we're going to look at mini maps and how to create them. Um, so, I did previously mention that I would probably sh I'd show you guys two methods on how to do this, but I'm just going to show you one. The uh, second method is pretty much more or less obsolete. Um, the only reason I would use the second method would be uh, for Assault Squad 2 and below. So, Men of War, Men of War Assault Squad, Men of War Vietnam, Men of War Red Tide, Men of War Condemned Heroes, and Assault Squad 2, Men of War Assault Squad 2. Um, they're the ones I'd use the second method for. Now, I have done a video in the past showing that method, and that would be in the Assault Squad 2 uh, Gem Editor tutorial series. I did. If you go through that playlist, you'll see a mini map tutorial and it will show you how to um, complete that method. Um, apart from that, guys, I'm just going to show you method one. All the links will be in the description. I will link the Assault Squad 2 mini map video uh, and the program you will, you will need as well to convert the PNG file or JPEG file to a DDS texture format. We will do that in this tutorial as well because the game will read the JPEG and PNG file, but um, you predominantly want the DDS texture format because that's what the game uses as well. Uh, and that's what all the uh, original files of the game most of the textures and mini maps are all DDS. Okay, all right, so that's a bit of a, a tangent. Um, let's begin the actual mini map uh, tutorial. So first things first, come to your clip tab and show borders. Now, the green bar here, you want the green bar to be placed on the map. You want it to be touching the map. If you have the green bar out here touching the black, like not touching the map. When you're going to do your mini map um, photo, like render it out using the random random mini map option here, you will get black in the mini map. Right? We don't want that. Uh, we just want the map, the land itself. So ensure that the green is on the land, like it is here. Otherwise, you'll have issues with the mini map. Excuse me. Um, okay, so let's just say we've we made sure that the green is on the map. We're happy. You can turn that off. Make sure you select the auto preset. Um, if you have custom presets, don't worry about it. Just do the auto, do the full map, and then what will happen is the game will automatically uh, crop the map, which each with each preset you have in the in the game. Right, because these presets you'll change and flick through them via the set clip command um, in the F3 mode. Okay, so just like the auto preset. And then go here, you can change the resolution, but we're going to leave it at 4K and just click go. Sweet, that's done. <laughs> so we'll. What's going to happen now is I'm going to pause and the video and we're going to go into the game files and I'll show you where to place the mini map and we'll go from there. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so once you're in the game files, so for example, my second hard drive, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Gates of Hell, this is where the mini map will be um, placed when you've clicked render mini map in the game. So if you double click it, you can see. No black bars or anything like that. Pretty clean mini map. Um, next step, basically, you just want to get rid of the underscore and the render. And this is what you want. And then Control X, go to resources, map, uh, wherever your map is located. And place it inside your map folder. So, as I said before, the game will recognize the PNG format. 
However, the DDS is uh, probably is primarily uh, the format you want. Um, but again, you don't have to, okay? So we've got this program here called DXT BMP. There will be a link in the description below. Just drag and drop. It'll load the image. Awesome, then just go save as DDS texture and it will open up the mission or the map, sorry, where we have the mini map placed. It will take some time because obviously it's a 4K image, so. There we go, done. All right, so what we'll do is we'll jump back in the game and, um, oh, sorry, before we do that, delete the PNG file or JPEG file, um, just ensure that the DDS file is the only one that's there, okay? Um, otherwise, it might cause issues with uh, the minimap loading. Okay, so once you've done that step, um, we'll go back into the game and I'll show you that it, it works. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so once you've loaded your map, just go F1 and then press M for minimap, and there you go. Uh, for some reason, when you do render it out, the water doesn't show. Um, so in order to fix that, or a way around it, come to your ocean and turn it off, and then just go into landscape and water, and just add some water, and that should fix the issue um, and then you can just delete it and then add the water back um, unless someone else knows a better way of doing it put it down in the comments below but that's as far as I'm aware that's how you fix that issue um, yeah apart from that guys that's pretty much the end of the tutorial um, I hope you guys learned something uh, I hope this is useful if you have any issues, leave some comments down below. Uh, and in the description, check out the Assault Squad 2 video I made on the second method or the other way of making minimaps. And the software will be there as well, okay, that we used. Um, yeah, apart from that, guys, um, that's it, really. Um, that's the end of the video. Um, take care, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.